I thought I'd make a video about podcasts, these driverless, autonomous or semi-autonomous vehicles that behave more like elevators that run horizontally. They have a lot in common with elevators. There's some in Heathrow in the UK and the United Arab Emirates and Mazda City and they, they travel around about 40 k's, 40 k's an hour, uh, battery powered. And they have a lot more in common with an elevator than they do with anything to do with a private vehicle. The uh, functions are very similar to an elevator, but you walk in or sit down. The doors are opening. Please mind the doors. The doors are Press closing. The button. Please mind and the doors. And away you go to your destination. Marhaba. When the elevator arrives, you should stand to the side or away from the doors to allow the passage of passengers or exiting the elevator. Once all of the exiting passengers are clear of the doorway, then you may enter the elevator. I want to go to back to the airport. You're going to Terminal 5. Is that okay? It's fine. Please let people off the pod before you get in. We were joined by business researcher Richard Isles, who showed us which buttons to press. It's a two-step process, so it's hitting the closed doors button. And then once that's done, uh, we can press the start button, which again flashes. They are, and you're in my opinion, button. significantly more cheaper than any monorail systems I have seen, and have some advantages over the larger trams or trains because they don't weigh as much and the infrastructure is somewhat cheaper. There you have it. And uh, this thing probably won't go anywhere near above the speed limit, but uh, speed limits. The best way to deal with a full elevator is to relax and wait for the next elevator. Another will be along shortly.
They also have the ability to share the road in much the same way as a tram does, following magnetic markers in the roads. There's even the possibility of an elevator system to lift them from the road level or street level up to an elevated expressway. There's also the possibility of using electrified sections of track and somehow getting electricity into the system while they're on the move, some similar to an electrified railway. However, the current system, uh, it's like a roadway really. Um, these podcasts are probably the most, uh, have the most potential. Other systems have more in common with a show ride and don't accommodate people with disabilities, pushers and uh, that sort of thing and have very little luggage space. They're certainly not personal. Um, they are public transport after all. This is the type of vehicle that should be treated more like an elevator and they do have potentials in high traffic areas. Airport to the city or one part of the city centre to another. They do have many advantages, but they have a number of disadvantages. Uh, speed is one of them. And the other, of course, is they, the elevated traffic ways need some kind of an elevator to get you from the street level up to the uh, where, they, where you need to uh, move sideways. So there you have it, podcasts. Something for the future, but uh, if not put correctly they're just a show ride. Sometimes elevators fail while in use and riders may become trapped for a period of time. Actions are put into motion when this occurs to resolve the situation but it requires trapped persons to remain calm and follow certain procedures.